Hello, welcome once again. What did it go of a schematic, actually a practice schematic, because there were some um, comments about confusion about schematics. This is again, this is from the textbook, Automotive Technology, a Systems Approach. Now, a relay, as you see, this is a horn relay, but it's not actually a horn relay, it's a relay that happens to be to activate a horn. Obviously you can have a relay for the fuel pump, for the starter motor, it's the same idea. Um, so there, there's much confusion about shorts, shorts to ground. Okay, if we take the basic concept, in this diagram, you do not see it, see this, which is a fuse, you do not see it connected to 12 volts a battery. This is where you have to use some ingenuity and say, okay, I know it goes to battery, and battery is 12 volts. So you're not going to see a symbol of 12 volts. This is what you have to try to figure out from diagrams. So we come along this path, 12 volts. Now, if this is intact, a good fuse, we should have 12 volts across here. So 12 volts here, 12 volts here. In the case that this opened up or blew because of a short, we could expect one side will be 12 volts, and which side will that be? That'll be the side that's connected always to the battery. The other side will be, in the bat with a bat blown fuse, it'll be zero volts. So. The confusion is, if this is 12 volts, and this is 0 volts because it's blown, where did all the 12 volts go? Where did I lose 12 volts? Across this. Across an open, you will have 12 volts. So if you take a meter, an actual voltmeter, one probe here, one probe here, you will measure 12 volts across the fuse. Instead of how much? Instead of 0 volts. Why? Because it's an open circuit. This is connected to 12 volts, but when this is open, let's put an X demonstrating an open, this is no longer connected to 12 volts, so you're going to read 0 volts. Okay, now, so let's continue now with a good fuse. 12 volts here, 12 volts here. We have a choice of taking a path. This means there's a connection. Should I go this way? Should I go this way? And when I mean should I go this way, I'm referring to solely current, current flow, not voltage. So here's voltage over here, 12 volts. This we all know is the symbol for a relay. Across it, you have something called the resistor. Okay, that's to suppress when you have uh, a spikes from this being turned on and off. If we expect 86 to be connected to what? 12 volts. We should expect what? 85 to be connected to what? A ground. A ground meaning either computer gives it a ground or a physical ground. Let's continue in this path. So this is the symbol for the coil in this diagram. We go over here. We go over here, 85. And now we come to a black and red wire, meaning the... the the striped wire, the stripe is the red. So we come over here, we come over here to a connector C134. When we come to C34, we come over here. We come to something called joint connector. Now you see these type of things in uh, Asian cars, Toyotas, Hondas, they love these things. All it is, is like you're connecting the jumpers together, the wires together. It's called a fancy joint connector number six. So in other words, this black and red stripe wire, right, will be now connected to a, a, a black and red wire again, but this, it'll go through pin 21, and it'll come out pin 20. Okay, as you see over here, there is a module, a central timer module, which is pin 18. These numbers indicate pins or terminals for this. You see this dash, dotted line? That means there is something here, a joint connector here or a module. So when you see dotted lines, it represents either switches, which is internal, which when you replace, you replace both. When you replace this, you replace the whole module. 
and you replace the joint connector. So we go, we come in pin what, 21. We come out pin 22 or pin 20. Let's go pin 22. Pin 22, 22, goes to a module. That module will give it, will give this a ground which we need. Now, we go over here, we go over here on this one now. So we had a path going here, we had a path going over here. There, now you have a short from the horn switches. When you close the switches, now when you close either one of these switches, either the horn switch for the left or either the right horn switch, this will give you the ground. Okay, so forget about this one from the computer. This will give you the ground. So, the question was asked, isn't this a shorter ground? Yes, it is a shorter ground. But we need a shorter ground. We can have a shorter ground here with the switch which we need to give us the zero volts. How much is across this point? Zero volts. Why? Because this is direct connector to ground. Here's ground. Coming along here, this is still zero volts. Coming along here, this is still zero volts. Coming along here, 85, this is still zero volts. The problem is if we have a shorter ground from this point, that's what will give us tr problems and that's what will blow the fuse. We're supposed to have a, 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 a shorter ground here, either by the computer or either by a switch being closed, as you can see. But not, we cannot accept a short to ground from here. Why? Because you're bypassing, why? What? The coil and the resistor. When this happens, either switch is closed. We have activated the relay. Then, as you see, this dotted line represents something. That means it's, it's attached to this thing. When the armature or the contacts closed, then guess what? Now we have the horns being activated. These are the switches, and these are the actual ho horns. This is considered the load, because this is the loads. Now, if you, if you want to see all these things, I, I explain these things on the channel, Joe, Electronic Schematics for Auto. Now, the question is, this is open. Let's say the coil itself is open. No electromagnetic field. Can current still flow through this resistor? This is a simple resistor to ground when I close the switch. Yes, it can. Will this close if this is open, but this is intact? Let's, let's examine. We need an electromagnetic field to uh, apply this, the contacts, the switches in this position. If current only flows in the resistor because this is open, guess what? We have no electromagnetic field. We do have current flowing to ground by the switch, but uh, but the properties of a resistor is to limit current, not to have electromagnetic field. So therefore, if this is open and current flows in the resistor, you will just have the resistor current flowing here, but this will not be activated and your speakers, your I'm sorry, your horns will not be activated. So I hope you found that informative. Please go to my channel for Joe Electronic Schematics for Auto and the other one, Automotive Electronic Schematics by Joseph. You'll find some hands-on videos and hopefully, like I said, as a promise, I will do more hands-on under the hood. Like I said, I, I was asked to do a project for electronics and automotive. I could not pass up that offer, but anyway, thanks for watching.